In this video, we're going to describe how this chart that we've uh, been discussing can be created using XBasic. So we'll close uh, this form down and open up the uh, version that was created by XBasic. So we'll go here into design mode now. And uh, if we look at the chart definition now, um, we'll see that instead of specifying the data source as being a table, um, we've chosen custom. And when you choose custom, then uh, you need to define an XBasic function that uh, needs to return the chart data in a special form. It's basically uh, in something called a uh, chart data definition object. You also need to specify um, an optional uh, watch expression. And the watch expression signifies when the chart should be redrawn. So we've chosen here seminar number. And if we look here at the list of fields, seminar number is the uh, uh, seminar ID from the parent record. So in effect what we're saying here is that every time you navigate to a new parent uh, record then if the value in this field has changed then call this function to regenerate the new chart data. So you'll see here that uh, when we actually go ahead and we run the chart and then we navigate to the next record the chart gets re regenerated and that's because the watch expression has changed. So one other thing that I'd like to point out that is common to both of uh, the charts, the version that's done with XBasic and, with, and uh, without XBasic is that when I navigate to the new record here, so you can see there are no child records yet because we haven't done any data entry, the chart disappears and um, that was done by going to uh, the Dynamic Properties uh, um, uh, tab over here, which you get to by going to Task List, and then going to Visible. And instead of saying true or false, we made Visible into a dynamic expression. And we've said that if the table called Attendee has any child records, then it, I'm sorry, if there are any a, a child records for the attendee table, which is the child in this case, then this expression is going to return true, in which case the chart will be visible. Otherwise, if this expression is false because there are no child records, which would be the case when there was a new parent record, then the chart becomes invisible. So that's how we uh, display the chart, how we make the chart go away if there are no child records. But anyway, getting back to um, the XBasic here, so you can see here that the XBasic gets called, um, when the XBasic gets called, the function here called plot attendees gets called. So now let's actually go to um, our code tab and look at how this uh, plot attendees function uh, is uh, defined. And this is where the, the real power comes for, uh, uh, for people who want to write their own XBasic because uh, you've got um, all the power that you need to create very elaborate uh, um, chart definitions over here. So you can see here that um, what, what happens is this, this is a special function that returns something called a uh, chart data definition and uh, it's inside a namespace called charting. So that's the syntax, the, the double colon here indicates that this is an object that lives inside uh, a particular namespace here called charting and what's being passed into this function is the seminar ID. So the first thing that we're doing is using external record content get to find all of the records in the attendee table that uh, match the seminar ID that is passed in and then um, so that's giving us a list of all of the states for all of the matching records and then we use the word unique function to get a list of the unique states. So now we know um, all of the unique states uh, f uh, of the attendees that are attending the current seminar. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video.